This is going to be a relatively quick lesson. We're just going to be talking about cylinders. And cylinders are actually very similar in function to the polygons we've been dealing with so far. Um, obviously, a cylinder is not qualified because it's made of round faces here, uh, round all around the outside, which means it isn't made of straight sides like a polygon must be. However, the calculations end up being really the same. To find the volume of a cylinder, we just take the area of the base and we multiply that by the height, just like we did for our polygon shapes. So that's going to be the volume. And then the area of the surface, or the surface area of the, of the cylinder, is just going to be the area of the outside. And then add that to the area of the top and the bottom. Now the interesting thing about the area of the outside of a cylinder is that if you take a cylinder, sorry, the area of the outside plus the area of the top plus the area of the bottom, finish that out there before I move on. <laughs> if we take a cylinder shape here and we open it up, I'm not very good with my artistry as usual, but if we open it up and sort of you know slice it down through the center here and lay it out flat, well then the side actually becomes a rectangle and the top and the bottom are just circles. So to find the area the surface area we just find the area of the circle up here, which of course we can do with the radius, pi r squared, right? pi r squared, and same thing for the bottom, then the length of the rectangle here down the side, the long dimension, is going to be the same as the circumference of the circle, right? Because all the way around here, if we unroll it, it's going to be the same, same distance from here all the way around as the original cylinder was. So this length right here is pi times the diameter of the original shape, and this dimension here on the rectangle is the same as the height of the original shape. So it's actually pretty easy to calculate as long as we you know, know the radius of our original cylinder and the height of the cylinder. Everything is just based from those two dimensions. And calculating it really isn't that big a deal. Just use the pi key on your calculator judiciously. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the example questions.